So to start, why did you decide to host an AJGA event this year? Well, I'm definitely involved in junior golf in Australia and having a partner of Uniqlo for all these years, they've been incredibly supportive of me and things I like to do as I try to be with them. Uh, but we felt this was a great opportunity to do something in the United States together and get involved in junior golf over here. Um, and California seemed like a good choice. I have a connection here in California, winning the PGA Tour events here. I played a little bit here in California as a junior as well. And partnering with the AJGA seemed like such a logical choice. Every player that comes on tour has come through the AJGA. They do such a great job uh, and a well-known organization. So it's been a fun process for me. And what are your goals for the future of this tournament? Yeah, I think we're off to a great start this year. We got a nice field and even a couple of kids traveled from Australia. I know a lot of kids have traveled um, from out of state as well to come and play, which is great. So hopefully this is the start uh, of something a little bigger and we can grow, keep growing this event. And uh, it already has, I think, a good reputation because of the AJGA, but hopefully the kids have a really good time and uh, we keep having some good competition. And what do you want your legacy in golf to be? <laughs> that's, a, that's a really hard question. Uh, obviously, I have goals uh, which include winning tournaments. And, and in some ways, as a professional golfer, depending what you win is how your legacy is seen. Um, but also, you know, through the PGA Tour, I think it's well known that they give back a lot to the game of golf and I think that's something important and uh, many different ways of doing that and I think getting involved with junior golf is, is one of those ways. So it's nice to be able to inspire even a few, if we call it a hundred here this week, um, by putting a tournament on and being able to turn up uh, and interact a little bit with them, hit, maybe hit some shots and talk to them. And hopefully that inspires them, not just to keep playing golf, but to want to achieve in whatever it is they do in their life. Is there anything you would tell your high school self? I wish you could have <laughs> told your high school self. Um, it's a really hard one. I mean, it feels like so long ago. Everything's really different. I watched them tee off today and they look like pros already. I'm sure I didn't look like that. It looks like they've been in the gym already. I, I definitely wasn't when I was in high school. Um, I think they've got through the game of golf, they're getting a really good head start in life, learning lots of things. The data and the technology that's available now is just so far <laughs> uh, from where it was in the 90s when I was in high school. So um, I really, maybe I would tell myself to look more into the data if I could and take science class or something. <laughs> And then we've talked about how these juniors, you know, they're doing so well at such a young age. Can you kind of talk us through how you started to play golf and then how you got into where you are now? Yeah, well, my family were all golfers, so that was helpful. My dad's a PGA member in Australia and my mom is a good player as well. Uh, so I ended up at the golf course um, pretty early on. But I didn't really play a lot until I was about 10. Uh, and. It, at 10, my dad uh, started working at a golf club, so I had a bit more access to a club and the range, and I was spending weekends there. Then I was going there after school and before school sometimes, uh, and I just fell in love with hitting balls at the range, really, and um, competition started happening, and I won a few, so that was encouraged me to do it more and more. Uh, and that kind of trend, I guess, continued as I was a junior and I stopped playing other sports when I was a teenager and thought I really want to be a golfer. And uh, yeah, somehow that dream stayed alive and I, and I got good enough to be a professional. I turned professional when I was 19 years old. I did one year of college and 
that was a huge life experience for me, leaving Australia and coming to the United States as an 18 year old and going to college. Um, and looking back on it, even though I didn't play incredibly well at that time, that's probably the year I learned the most about myself and about my golf game and how to get out of, I was out of my comfort zone all of a sudden and I had to grow up quickly and figure this whole thing out. And I think that did a lot for me for the rest of my life. And uh, then I turned pro and I've, I played well in Europe first of all. I had a tour card in Europe and then I made my way to the States a couple years later and uh, was lucky to have some early success and I've managed to keep playing golf and traveling the world and it's been given me incredible opportunities to see things and, and meet incredible people and have friends all over the world and I feel like really the world is my home and uh, I've been so supported in the United States as well and that's a nice feeling when I spend so much time here that I feel like I have great support on and off the golf course.